My name is John Chiini. I come from Morobe province in Kagum district. I am a nursing officer by profession and currently I am working with Good News Lutheran Health Service in Enga province. For the last eight years, I've been saving one of the very remote places located, located in Hela province specifically in Koroba Kopego district in Heva, working as an officer in charge of Wanikipa Health Center. The place is so remote that the basic services is a need by this very populous more than 10,000 people who lives there and they are really craving for the basic services like health and education. I've been working as an officer in charge, serving these people in Wanaki Health Center. And there's a lot of challenges. There's a lot of barriers that I overcome. When reaching these people for a basic health services, they even work three to four days to reach the health center. But when there's a need for me to go and reach the people to give the basic service they need, I have to leave the health center and walk two to three days. Sometimes I cross the river just to give the basic service they need. For example, if there's a written placenta, I've been called to go and manage the mother. But at times, the patient dies on, when, on hand. They just died in front of me. My work comes with its fair share of challenges but saving our lives bring immense happiness and satisfaction and a sense of fulfillment that makes all the sacrifices worthwhile. Patient care is the driving force behind my commitment and the opportunity to make a meaningful contributions to healthcare keeps me motivated despite the hardships and challenges being faced I continue to strive and overcome obstacles knowing that my efforts are making a real difference in people's lives especially in this very remote place that I have been serving Waliki Bell Center. I would continue to stay focused because I know that I have a mission to accomplish. I have a mission to save life despite overcoming such barriers remain f still remain first in my mind. However, these very experiences and hardship I've been facing strengthen my resolve to continue my work. I received a call from the Asta Guidance Global Nursing Award team saying that I was being shortlisted in the top 10 out of the 78,000 applicants across the world. I was astounded and speechless with tears of streaming, tears of joy streaming down my face. I felt like, felt like a significant moment to share my experiences and the pain I've endured while saving this underdeserved population in Wanikiba.
this recognition has given me a platform to highlight the challenges and triumphs of my journey and I am grateful for the opportunity and ready to share my stories and experiences at a global stage.